right, to start this day, I think um, I'm going to go see Bellum Tower, which is past that bridge. So I'm going to do a whole lot more walking. As you can see, it's, uh, it's, a, little, it's a little windy today. <laughs> so I'm not going to stick around here too much longer because I don't want my uh, food to get disturbed by the tablecloths. So uh, I'll get right back with y'all. Back on this walk yet again. Um, I guess I got a little story for you. So while I was out, um, or while, while I was having uh, brunch, which you just saw, a guy approached me. <laughs> He was trying to sell me some glasses, like a lot of uh, a lot of folks around here. They're out here hustling, trying to sell glasses. But when I first got here, there was this guy. He, uh, he was trying to sell me some glasses, and then he was like, "Yo, I got some weed for you." And then he was like, "I was like, yeah, yeah, no, nah, I don't, I don't really smoke." And he was like, "Well." What else you like? I mean, you like cocaine? You like uh, the cheese? Like, man, I don't do none of that stuff. I mean, you got me for the Ray Bans, okay? That, that's cool, but the, the other stuff, uh, I don't do that. It's like, no, you know what? In Portugal, it's okay. It's okay. Um, like, everybody does a little bit of something. Fast forward to today. And the same guy approaches me. Like, I remember him. He tried to sell me the glasses. I'm like, dude, you just hit me for some glasses last week. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like, uh, I remember you. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I remember you. So many glasses. He was like, yeah, but I, I got some glasses. I'm like, no. Like, this is not happening. <laughs> All while I'm sitting there trying to eat. So this is crazy. My server, he was sitting there watching, you know, he's kind of like smiling and everything. He, kind of, he comes up to me after he leaves and he's like, yeah, it's kind of a thing here, you know. Folks try to sell you the, uh, the drugs and everything. Uh, they, they try to open you up with your glasses. I'm like sitting here like, yeah, I, I realized that. I've seen it yet experienced it four times in one. <laughs> Brazil so we'll see as my dad would say we'll kick the ball and see where it lands um, meanwhile I'm just gonna enjoy Lisbon for what it is right now I was trying to get to Porto and I like I was looking at the forecast the weather is not cooperating well right now it is but as far as like from this point on the weather is supposed to be not cooperating I saw 50 degrees with rain showers the whole rest of the time that I'm supposed to be here it's fine you know like I said I'll just try to enjoy what I can from this point and there's nothing wrong with that you know I can always come back I'll come back anytime whenever um, but overall so far, this is a very, very, very pleasant place. I just made it to the bridge itself. I'm walking under it. Uh, 
now that I've gotten out into the sun, into this brisk air, I feel good. So it only makes me want to keep going, just doing more things. Ain't this nice? Look like San Fran. <laughs> and to keep it all the way 100 with you. I ain't never been to Bay, so I've seen pictures, and that looks just like it. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on. Here we pass by Doca de Belém, or Bellum Dock. This is where the Portuguese set sail in the 15th and 16th centuries. Padrão dos Descobrimentos. This monument represents the age of discovery. Portugal boasts a very rich exploration heritage. Made from limestone, you'll notice the huge red and black compass rose on the ground. This was a gift from South Africa. Notice the statues on the monument. On both the eastern and western sides are historical figures paying homage to Portuguese history. further down the path. We have arrived. Take a look at this. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Toch de Belém, or Bellum Tower. Its original purpose was to be a fort protecting Lisbon from incoming raids along the Tagus River. It was where the start of voyages began and signaled the last site of land for sailors. stay so um, at the moment I just want to rest these dogs because they howling right now <laughs> my feet are crying right now they're like what are you doing I'm now 40 years old <laughs> it's different from just uh, doing stuff in the 30s and pop up and just going doing something My body hurt if I sneeze wrong. <laughs> so I gotta take a little bit more care of myself. Anyhow, uh, yeah, that's all I got for now. I forgot why I was uh, even vlogging right now. Anyway, we just having a conversation. So yeah, that's it for now. Maybe I'll uh, talk about something else shortly. I'll holler back. Peace.